I know a lot of people did miss me and I'm really happy that some of you did miss me, contacted me even on Facebook, followed me on Instagram. But the wait is over. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. I'm already bagged, all pumped up to get started for the new year but this year not only I'm gonna get started, you're gonna come along with me. Yes, this year you'll be walking with me throughout this year and together we are going to crush some new year resolutions. This year, very merry Christmas without all tears, every night. We all have new year goals. Every year we decide that we are going to do this, we are going to live a healthy lifestyle, we are going to learn a code, we are going to learn a programming language or anything like that. But you know what? crushing down these goals is not so easy and simply because of two reasons. The one is consistency. If you'll ask me, hey Hitesh, run for a 10 kilometer, just do a marathon or running for a day, I'll do that somehow. I'll be really surviving hard through that, but somehow I'll do that. You know what's the tough part? Doing it every single day, whether that's just one kilometer. So consistency is the most and the biggest evil that we have to first overcome to that. Now the second thing that is even the biggest thing even on the consistency is the willpower. Now this is a big culprit and is always a hindrance in achieving what you really want to achieve. This will, will inside us is always responsible of doing the things that we don't want to do. For example, you see a sale there, you see a nice t-shirt, want to buy that, you just buy it, although you don't need it. You all, we all know that pizza is not so good for health and broccoli is good for health, but still, whenever we see that pizza, whenever our friends hang out, we just go and grab it. That's the willpower. We all know that working on a code or on a project of a programming for one hour a single day is all good. But, you know, the urge of going out in a party and not being consistent is all due to this willpower. And somehow we have to overcome to this willpower. Now, I'll share a simple story, a couple of them, and I'm going to walk you through that how you can overcome all of this and not just will tell you. Throughout this year, you'll be walking along with me, along my side, and we'll together move along this entire year to crush down whatever you are looking for. So this first story is about my childhood and when we were kids we all used to have these 100 meter race, 200 meter race. I was one of the guys who used to participate in that and I was a young kid so all of our friends were lined up and our judge was used to shoot that toy gun and then we have to run and I used to just see my judge. He's about to press the trigger. I used to just run ahead of that and all, all of the sudden Everybody just used to blow the whistle, hey, come back, you have to start again, you have got a head start. And I did that again. And the third time, the judge warned me that I'm going to throw you out of the competition if you're going to do that again. And uh, I know that is cheating, but I wanted to get that head start because automatically it is built up in all of our mind that if we are going to get a head start, it would be much more easier. That was a competition, but now this is a new year resolution. This is all personal stuff. We can all get a head start. The second story is when I wanted to join the basketball team of my school. Now, I was a kid who had absolutely no idea what the basketball is and how to play that, but I wanted to play that. And I tried there, but you know what? When I entered the team, they said, hey, uh, you are a short guy. I'm just 5'8", five, 5'9", five, and all of my friends who were in the basketball team were like 6'2", six, 6'1", six, in the height, and that's, that's really tall. So they say, hey, just take the ball and try to shoot it. I tried, failed miserably in that. And the coach said, hey, you are not that good, so you cannot join the team. Then you know what I did? I started to learn. I started to being consistent. The time when my entire team used to come to the school, I used to come one hour before that. And I used to just do 50 shots before when the team arrives and 50 shots after the team has done its play. So just simply 100 shot a day. And you know what happened after three months? I showed up consistency. So next time when I showed up for the audition of that basketball team, the coach gave me a ball and I shot that it went. The coach gave it again to me and I shot five out of five. And you know why? Because it was so easy for me. I practiced 9,000 shots on that board. 
and it was not a 9000 at first it was just a hundred shot a day then it became for a month and then it gave, gave a consistency of three months that's it it was so easy but it's not so easy when you lick it from your side so I'm a big fan of getting started early and being consistency throughout. Over my life, I have seen that these things gives predictably good result, but they are not so easy to achieve. So in this year, I am asking you to just follow me along on this YouTube and Facebook, and I will walk you through through this entire year being consistent. And yes, this is all I'm asking. I'm not selling you my courses. I'm not selling you my t-shirts. All I'm asking you is just join me in this great experiment. I've already taken this experiment last year and before that, it gives predictably good results. You don't have to do anything much bigger than this. Just follow me along and together we will again meet at the end of year and together in this entire year, I'll walk you through that how these things are done. Set up first of all your goal. This is the most important part. A lot of people will say that, hey, this is all childish stuff and this these things doesn't really work forget about what the people say give a damn about them just get started set your goal and I'm asking you to not to set a big unrealistic goal just set three four or maybe at a max of five goals that's it the realistic number that I would like to give you is gonna be three just set three goals and that's it now what next you have to do is take a pen and paper now this is gonna be look a little bit childish but trust me at the end of this you are gonna get that so take a pen and paper and just draw out on the sheet 30 blocks. Yes, we need just 30 blocks or maybe sometime 31. And all you have to do is take three pens, each pen denoting your resolution. For example, this is my green pen. This denotes that I will not have pizza, no burgers, no soda and not chocolate throughout this year. I know this is, this sounds insane and this sounds crazy. Will I be able to do that? You will all see that how much successful I'm getting with this or not. I have other goals as well, which I'll share later on. But this is all you have to do. Just take a pen and a paper and every single day, if you are able to successfully do that, you just have to put a star on that column. So how many goals you're achieving? Let, let's just say your goal is to hit the gym every single day. Just mark a star on that piece of paper if you are able to successfully do that. And you know what's the best part about it? You cannot lie with this because there is only one and one person you cannot lie at any given circumstances and that is you. I cannot lie to me. Inside of me, whatever I say to other people, I know that I haven't done that or I have done that. So be your judge onto yourself. Just this piece of paper and this pen trick will, will be able to do all these things throughout this year. So the goal part is done, the paper part is done, the pen part is done. But you know, one thing is still there, which is a constant reminder. We have taken all these resolutions, these goals every single year, but some people are just able to do that for half a month or maybe after a month, it's just gone like that. But here I steps in. I will be your constant reminder of achieving what you really want to achieve. Whether it's going to the gym, whether it's a programming stuff and all of that, I will be posting on my Facebook page every single day that where is your goal list? Did you made it or not? And I'll be reminding you through my YouTube videos constantly this year that how good you are doing in that. Are you able to still with me or you're not with me? And all these fun stuff. So you can rely me on that. Here's my Facebook link where I'll be posting every single day that, hey, were you able to achieve your goals today or not? Now, I know I'm taking a big responsibility here, which is not so easy to achieve because everybody faces different phases in life. Maybe uh, sometimes we have family problems, sometimes we have not so good days, sometimes we have low days, up days and all these things. But regardless of that, I'm taking a big deal here, a big responsibility. I'm not sure I'll be able to do it or not because this is something big onto a public platform promising that I'll be doing that. But hey, just like you are sometimes afraid of doing the things, whether I'll be do it, able to do it uh, by the end of this year or not. Similarly, I'm also afraid just like you that I'll be able to do it or not. But still, I'm taking a chance here. I have nothing to lose. All I, I'll have by the end of this year is something to achieve. One more thing that you, I would like to point out here is, don't worry about the 365 days that we have here. Just worry about the 30 days. This is a 30 days mission and that's it. You don't have to worry about anything else. 
Worrying about too much long period of time always gives a predictably low result. Just break down your results into smaller and shorter period of time. In this case, the 30 days. That's it. So end of the year, I'll be sharing you this chart that how successfully I was able to crush down the things that I have decided are not. Now here is the interesting part about this experiment that we are going to do throughout this year. Uh, thousands and thousands of people are going to join me in this experiment of designing this paper, putting a star mark with their favorite pen, whatever it says. But you know what? I am sure of also one thing that there will be only handful of people who will be staying along with me throughout the year. And when we'll be doing again this talk in the December next year, you'll realize only handful of people are just there with me. But trust me, all those people who will be sticking with me in this journey, in this great experiment, will be crushing down their goals. Whether that goal is to design an awesome Android app, iOS app, awesome website, learn React, Node, go to the gym, maybe running, whatever that is. I'm not saying that your goal should be only this. Whatever your goal is, feel free to have it. And together, we are going to crush it down. And yes, just one final note. Don't listen to the people. People are crazy and they're going to call you crazy for doing all of these things. They'll say, this is all childish stuff. Don't do that. Don't trust on them. Don't believe on them. You just believe in yourself and a little bit small trust on me. And together, we're going to crush down this year all the things that you really wanted to achieve. This Christmas, give yourself the world's best gift that you can ever give to yourself. Consistency and strong willpower. Follow me up on the Facebook page and I'll put a constant reminder every single day that where we are with our achievements. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead, do that. We're gonna crush down a lot of things this year. I'll catch you up in the next one. Every day.